Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla, a fashion maven mommy, and I'm really excited to be here today because I got a new camera so you don't have to put up with my crazy, horrible lighting anymore, and I hope this one works out well. Uh, so I thought that I'd try out this whole favorites thing. I have so many favorites and I don't usually talk about them on here on YouTube, but I thought I'd start with a June favorites for y'all. <laughs> um, there's so many things that I'm loving right now and uh, so let's get right to it. One of the things that a lot of people have been questioning me about is my hair. So I've done a little bit of transitioning with going from blowing out my hair um, constantly and then like breaking my arm and walking out of the house and having it basically um, just swell up was so frustrating to me and you know I started to just embrace my naturally curly wavy hair however for a long time I couldn't really wear it um, curly or wavy because my hair had lost a lot of the curl and so what I did was I got it cut um, significantly actually um, and I cut it again and again and most recently I had it on an angled bob and it was pretty long in the front but it was still kind of really short in the back and um, it wasn't air drying quite nicely. So I went back to the salon. I said, listen, I'm letting my hair air dry. This is the easiest thing for me to do in the summer. And can you please give me a haircut that will sort of help my hair do its thing. So my hair was washed this morning. I put some stuff on it and that's it. I did nothing else to it. And that's what I want to talk to you about. So the first product that I'm loving right now is this um, Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It. It is phenomenal. I basically put this on my hair when it's wet and um, and then I let it air dry and it's amazing. You can use this alone or with some other styling products. I actually really like to use it with Living Proofs from the Curl Collection, the Defining Styling Cream. This stuff has a little bit of hold. Now, when I say it has a little bit of hold, it does not have, it does not leave your hair crunchy. I hate crunchy hair. Do you like crunchy hair? I hate crunchy hair. So I like to feel my hair soft when I touch it. I'm not used to the whole like tight curls, crunchy thing. Sorry, it's just not. I think it's a wonderful investment if you have uh, curly hair. In fact, the curl collection from um, Living Proof I love. I've been using the detangling rinse, the conditioning wash, um, about three times a week, and I alternate with um, Alterna's uh, CC Caviar, something or other. I will get back to you on that, but um, it leaves my hair very hydrated. I love Alterna products, so I'm definitely using those as well. But I find that these two together are a great combination. Another thing that you'll want to consider is once the hair is um, more or less dried, and if you still see some frizz, there's, it's always good to use a serum. There's so many wonderful options out there, really, that whatever works for you, um, just dab some on and uh, you're good to go. Now, another thing that I'm absolutely loving, and this has been like, this was one of those things that I needed to spend another whatever amount on Sephora to get something, and I was like, oh, let me try this not really having any expectations for it. Um, turns out it was probably one of the best investments I've made recently. And by investment, it's actually not that expensive. It's maybe like $12, so it wasn't even a major ex uh, investment, but it really has helped my hair a lot. So the Diva uh, Curl Towel, it's just this towel. It's a little stained. I just used it today and I got some makeup on it, but it is kind of like it feels a little bit like a terry cloth, but really, really soft, like even softer than terry cloth. Um, and it absorbs like nobody's business. You put this on your hair. So basically I put it on my wet hair and I crunch it like this and you see the curls already starting to build. It's so phenomenal. Um, Another tip, I have a good friend who uses just an old white t-shirt and she says it works amazingly for her. I haven't tried it, but if you don't want to go ahead and invest in one of these, try a t-shirt and see, you know, how well it works. Um, but I'm loving this. This is like amazing. 
and I wrote about it recently on the blog, so you can definitely go check that out at www.fashionmavenmommy.com, and you can read more about that. Bath and Body Works, um, like many of you, I go in there and I buy just the store. I buy the store, and then I bring it home, and I have a whole stockpile of every body wash, uh, body splash, and lotion, and potion, and whatever, but I stockpile because what happens is when I really like a fragrance, they go ahead and discontinue it, and it really is very annoying because if they would just bring back May Bouquet, my life would be complete, but they haven't, so I'm always on the search for the new favorite fragrance, and I actually found one that I'm obsessed with. It's a Maui Mango Surf and it smells so good. It smells so good. I, oh, I'm gonna put it on. This actually reminds me of this one body splash from Victoria's Secret that I bought maybe 22 years ago. I mean, it was a long time ago and I, I actually remember it because I was with my grandma, my late grandma at the store and I remember we each bought one and we tried it out. We were in the car and we're like, oh my God, this smells so good. And when I smell this, it totally brought me back to that moment and it was really nice because I miss my grandma. And so it's nice that I can sort of connect with her via a scent, if that makes any sense. But yes, I have a stockpile and no, I will not be sharing. I was watching an Allure video and some of the editors were raving about um, Simple Skincare, the Sensitive Skin Experts, uh, cleansing micellar water. Um, I typically am a makeup wipe girl. I use makeup wipes to remove my makeup and then I wash my face. Um, so I was curious to try this and it's so good. It's so good. So you put a little bit on a little cotton swab. I actually like to use these, um, this, uh, the Swispers, the round ones, but I mean, you can use whatever it is that you like to use. And I pour a little bit on, it removes all of my makeup. It, it's like it attracts makeup and lifts it to the surface and you can cleanse it off. It cleanses my skin beautifully. I have extremely sensitive eyes, so I've had to try a lot of makeup wipes. Sorry, I have a hair. Oh, I got it, awesome. Um, I, I've tried a lot of different makeup wipes and um, a lot of them really irritate my eyes. I get really a lot of redness. It's just, it's, it's horrible. Um, and with this, it's so, so good for my sensitive eyes. It really feels like water. It's amazing. I love this stuff. I'm halfway done already and I will be replenishing 100%. Okay, another um, product I'm loving, and this was also recommended by the Allure editors, um, the Dove Dry Spray. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's new to the US. Um, and this spray is so good. It's actually replaced my, um, um, why can't I think of it? Deodorant. It's actually replaced my deodorant. Um, so I just spray a little under my arms and whatever parts that I get a little sweaty all over my body and it keeps it dry. It's really wonderful. Um, and they all come in different fragrances. Um, this is Clear Tone, I believe it's called. And it's a very, very light fragrance, nothing overpowering. And I really, I've been really liking this. This is really good. Available at drugstores, like all your other Dove products. Um, okay, another one. So CVS um, Pharmacy, uh, the public relations people at CVS Pharmacy uh, usually send a box every season of their new launches and things that, you know, I can try out and see what I enjoy. Um, the Micro Petty um, little tool looks like that. Is amazing and is it, I guess it's by Enjoy. I, I'm not sure here, you can look at it yourself. Come on, focus, focus, focus. 
This little tool is amazing. So in the summer, I tend to get really cracked heels, as I think most of us do, um, just by wearing flip-flops and sandals. And this has like a little thing that removes. And this is sort of almost like the texture of a really abrasive nail file. And you turn it on and it spins it around and you put that against your skin and it buffers it or buffs it, buffs, buffers. Well, it smooths it out, okay? And I use this every day, especially at night before bed, after I've showered, I go in on my heels and I apply a little lotion and it's kept my heels nice and smooth all summer long and I'm loving this product. Um, definitely recommend it. It's relatively affordable, available at your local CVS. So definitely look into this. This is phenomenal. Another thing I'm loving is this month's issue of Bella Magazine. Because if you've been following my blog, you'll know that I have a little blurb in the magazine this month. So it's the beauty scene and they asked me what my iconic beauty was. So mine is Michelle Williams. And that's my little blurb right there. I actually um, did post about this, so I will link it down below. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and read my blurb. It's very short and, you know, you don't, it doesn't require a whole lot of time. Um, and it's just so amazing. I've wanted to be on print for like ever. So thank you to Bella Magazine for um, including me in this month's issue. That's just such an honor. I'm so excited about it. Quickly, I love makeup wipes as I told you before. I always keep one on my nightstand. That's the biggest tip I can give you is if you're the type of girl that's not like to remove her makeup or you get lazy about it, never go to bed without removing your makeup. Keep an, a makeup wipe stash on your nightstand. Wipe it on your face. It takes two seconds. If nothing more, do that. Um, what I like to do is actually at Forever 21, they sell these, um, and they, there's different kinds, but I picked up this one. I think actually I have more. I have the green tea jasmine, um, and they're, I think, $2.90. That's all they cost. Um, this one is the Coco Shea Butter one, and these makeup wipes are so good. They're actually really nice on my sensitive skin. I, they don't give me any weird reactions or anything like that, and... I keep these in my makeup room because when I'm doing my makeup, I always need to wipe my hands, wipe the top of my, if I'm swatching and stuff, I like to wipe um, the top of my, the palm of my hand. Um, these are a great investment, $2.90. We actually just got back from the mall and I picked up a couple more. I have stacks of these because I use them a lot and they're just great and at the price, who can go wrong, right? $2.90, I mean, you can't go wrong as far as I'm concerned. I have just a couple more things. I know this is kind of a long one. It's hard to narrow down things I'm loving, but um, okay, so Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water is so good. All right, so when I bought this, it was a recommendation from my good friend, Serene Wu of Dress Yourself Happy. Um, she was loving this and I thought, all right, I'm going to pick it up. I usually trust her judgment. She's really great and has amazing advice for products. You def definitely need to check out her blog and her vlog. She's amazing and a wonderful friend. So, um, I tried this and I thought, eh, it's just, it's like water or whatever, but no, it really, it really is so good. First of all, you can use it as a primer just by splashing it on your face, spraying it or whatever. And you can also use it to set your uh, makeup in. I also love that it's so refreshing. It has electrolytes. It really hydrates the skin and nourishes it. I find that this is an amazing product. I'm also halfway done with it and I will be replenishing. Feels so good. So good. This is so... Two more things and I promise I'll stop talking. So Butter London sent over their um, <laughs> they're lippy, bloody, brilliant lip crayons. Now, I am absolutely in love with these. They are phenomenal. They are these lip pencils that kind of look like that. And you, it has two parts on the cap. So the cap is removable, obviously, and then you have your lip crayon. So then on the cap, there's a sharpener. And then you can close that up and 
these are amazing they're very smooth they apply the color is intense but yet it's like a balm it applies like a balm but the color is very intense and I'm loving all the colors um, I'm doing a full blog post on these but I'm gonna swatch a few for you just so you can get a sneak peek here but I'm gonna have a full blog post on these you guys these are so good if you can pick up one or two, I'm telling you, or heck, pick them all up. They're so beautiful. I'm actually wearing, just so you know, the one I'm wearing right now on my lips, this one here, is in Primrose Hill Picnic. It's this color right here. The first one that I showed you, it's this bright, happy pink. But you just have to see, these are so gorgeous. Oh my God, take a look amazing right so i'm loving these they're long lasting um actually i put mine on before going to the mall i think it's i didn't even reapply so it's still on um and it's just it's they're phenomenal i'm loving this i love how they feel on my lips they're not like tacky um you know my lips are not sticking together they're just perfect the formula is amazing lastly yes the end the end okay um pixie you know i love pixie i love pixie in fact i have a funny story about pixie so one time i was at my friend's mother's funeral very sad occasion i was at the wake actually and i'm standing there speaking to my friend you know giving her my condolences in front of the body and someone comes up to me and they're like aren't you a blogger you know um fashion maven something i was like yeah and they're like, oh my God, where do I get Pixie? You're always talking about Pixie. Where do I get Pixie? And I thought to myself, um, at Target? It was funny and awkward all at the same time because we were at a funeral and it was a little weird, but okay. But, but you know, I get it. Important information to to share. So yes, they're available at Target and at pixiebeauty.com. And right now I have for you the quick fix bronzer in velvet bronze, you guys. <gasps> Look at the applicator. It's a sponge applicator. So the powder is actually in here and you just apply it like that. Look, oh, look how beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Like seriously, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You need it. The application is so mess free. I mean, you can toss this in your makeup bag and you're good to go. You want to put some on? Just tap it on. You're good to go. It's I think that's it. So this is my favorites for June. Stay tuned for July because I already have some favorites that I'm working on. And... I hope this camera works out a little better than the old horrible one that I had and my apologies in advance for that horrible camera and my lighting and all that good stuff. And for all the new followers I've had, thank you so much for subscribing. For anyone watching this that has not subscribed, I would love it if you would. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and um, any questions or comments you have, leave them down below. Please be kind. My feelings will get hurt if you're not. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll chat again real soon. Bye.